Letitia Stock will be tried for murder in the death of her stepson last year at their home in Colorado Springs. That decision came from an El Paso County judge today. Nine News crime and justice reporter Matt Jablo is with us now and Matt Stock once again was declining to appear in person. That's right, Tom. Just like the preliminary hearing two weeks ago, Stouck said she did not want to be in the courtroom today, though she did not say why. So she appeared virtually from jail in an orange jumpsuit and wearing a black mask as Judge Gregory Werner recapped the case against her and then read his decision. Prosecutors say Letitia Stouck murdered her 11 year old stepson Gannon, then drove from Colorado to Florida with his body in a suitcase and dumped him under a bridge. At the preliminary hearing, they presented what Judge Gregory Werner described as significant evidence, including blood on the walls of Gannon's bedroom, a blood trail leading from Gannon's room to the garage, a sneaker of Letitia's that prosecutors say had Gannon's blood on it, and a gun found in Letitia's bedroom, allegedly with her DNA on it, The prosecutors claim is the murder weapon. After considering all that, Judge Werner said there was probable cause for the case to go to trial and order that Stauk continue to be held without bond. Michael Allen is the Colorado Springs DA and the lead prosecutor on the case. It's a step. Uh, this is not a final step. She is still innocent until we prove her guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. It's going to be a long process still. Stauk is due back in court on November 4th for her arraignment. That's when she will enter a formal plea. Judge Warner said she must appear in person on that day. Tom? So many people are following this story, of course. Matt, thank you for the update.